Hello everyone and welcome to the teaching learning tutorial about the Ludotechnic instructional model. In this video I'm going to talk to you about the next parts. Background, theoretical foundations, characteristics of the teaching learning process, requirements for its implementation. So what is the objective of this? To learn about the key aspects of the ludotechnic instructional model for its implementation. First of all, I'm going to talk to you about the background. What's the matter? There are a lot of new methodologies in the team sport. They are based on an analytical and mechanistic approaches. Concern about the loss of interest in athletics, Valero and Conde created a new model based on the game. Secondly, talking about the theoretical foundations, on the one hand we have two theoretical and logical bases. Operant conditioning. Children learn across small steps. The apprentice sees, hears and feels the components that are part of his learning. Theory of achievement goals. The task orientation allows a greater enjoyment for sports. On the other hand, we find meaningful results. Acquisition of athletic skills and enjoyment and amusement through the practice of the athletics. In the third place, I'm going to explain you the structure of the session with the ludotechnic instructional model. We have four steps. The first one, global presentation and proposed challenges. The second one, ludotechnic approach. The third one, global proposals and the last one reflection and sharing first part global presentation and proposed challenge in the first session the teacher asks about the knowledge of the discipline work and explains the implementation of the technical gesture faced by an exemplification Consequently, in the rest of the session, there is a brief overview of the stage of the technical gesture of discipline and what is going to be dealt with. In order to make a funny class, after the explanation, a question related to the athletic discipline is thrown, so that the students try to find the answer during the session. We continue with the structure of the session with the ludotechnic instructional model. The second part is ludotechnic approach. They are games that have been modified and which introduce a technical rule that refers to the phase of the technical gesture that is intended to be worked in the session. Furthermore, this platform should give a sufficient number of opportunities to work the technical element and a high level of commitment by the students. The third part of the session with the ludotechnic instructional model are the global proposals. They are games or platforms that involve the complete relation of the athletic gesture. It seeks to transfer the technical elements worked separately to the global gesture. At last, we have the fourth part of the session with the ludotechnic instructional module, reflection and survey. The teacher brings together students and asks for the solution to the challenge posed at the beginning of the session. He asks about the phase of the technical gesture that has worked and is interested in knowing the views of the student on the race activities. And finally, we need two requirements for its implementation. 
teacher skills. Obviously, teacher must know some important things. Teacher must know how to modify the game to introduce rules related to the technical gesture to learn. Teacher must be able to create cognitive dissonance with the question challenge. And, of course, teacher should motivate to students to participate actively in the proposed tasks. On the other hand, teacher must be able to have an absolute control of the major, knowledge of the technical phases of the athletic disciplines are composed, and knowledge of different disciplines of athletics, history, rules, biomechanical principles, measures, records. To sum up, teacher must be able to create curiosity in their students. And that's all. Thank you very much to watch this video and of course if you have any question or suggestion you can contact me at my email. See you soon.